With a global coronavirus outbreak ranging and showing little sign of slowing down anytime soon, the fate of the Tokyo Olympics, slated to be held through July and August, is hanging in the balance. And U.S. President Donald Trump has even weighed in on the issue, suggesting a one year delay. Our Kim Hyo Sun tells us more. President Trump has suggested delaying the Tokyo 2020 Olympics for a year as the coronavirus outbreak continues to spread around the globe. Speaking at the White House on Thursday, he explains that a delay would be better than having no spectators. You know, I, I like that better than I like having empty stadiums all over the place. I think if you cancel it, make it a year later, that's a better alternative than doing it with no crowd. That said, President Trump added he would not make such a recommendation to Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, saying Abe will ultimately make his own decision. The president of the Tokyo 2020 Organizing Committee stressed a day earlier that postponing the event is not an option. We are not thinking about changing directions, no changing plans at all. Everyone is moving in that direction. The flame ceremony is about to start in Greece. And there is also overall supervision by the IOC. This is a time when everyone is making effort towards that direction. There is no room for over thoughts that are negative, pessimistic, or over secondary issues. He said delaying the games is impossible as there is a Beijing Winter Olympics in two years and the Paris Olympics in four years. His remarks come around a week after Japan's Olympic minister Seiko Hashimoto raised the possibility of delaying the Tokyo Games. Hashimoto explained the IOC only has the right to cancel the Games if they are not held during 2020, which she said could mean the Olympics could be postponed as long as they are still held during the calendar year. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.